Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jayco and today we're going to be talking about some of the expanded and enhanced confirmed news. Two little tiny pieces of news that we've uh, recently learned through an article. I'll leave that article down below in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. We will also be going over GTA Online's next update. Not exactly an update, but more of a holiday update with the Halloween update coming later in October. So there is some exciting news about that as well. Before we get into it, if you guys do end up enjoying, please remember to drop a like and subscribe. And a quick little announcement, I have made a second channel. You guys may or may not have saw my recent video, but uh, I made a second channel based on variety content. So my GTA Online stuff will stay here, but the other games and variety content that I make will be over on that other channel. So if you guys want to go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description as well. Only go there and subscribe or check it out, but uh, if you guys do end up liking it, drop a subscribe over there. Maybe you guys can uh, stick around we got a small little community over there so it's been fun but uh let's get right into the news so the two tiny little itty bitty things we learned about the expanded enhanced edition the ps5 and the xbox x versions of gta 5 uh coming out later this year apparently is that it will run at 4k 60 frames nothing crazy news but you know it was pretty much expected as well is that the vehicle speeds will be increased i think like the max now is like 120 or like 140 not every car can actually hit the top speed even if it is a supercar something like the calico with low grip tires and lower suspension that can go really fast but with the speeds being increased maybe that car or other cars can go even faster i would love to see a supercar in gt online be able to hit like 200 220 miles an hour that'd be a crazy wreck driving into like you know i don't know just driving to a tree or something that'd be pretty crazy but those are the only little tiny things the expanded enhanced version are really confirmed to show and those are kind of expected and you know i really honestly think that this expanded enhanced edition of the game will be delayed rockstar has said nothing about it games con uh, i think it just finished or it's finishing up today as i'm recording this on friday but, uh, you know, usually I get a little worried when we get this close to release date and Rockstar has said nothing or released no extra trailers, no extra news, no nothing. And this happened with GTA 5, happened with Red Dead 2. Uh, delays are very, very common with Rockstar games, but they also make probably the best gaming products of all time. So I'm going to stay patient. You know, maybe we have to wait till spring, which uh, honestly wouldn't be that bad. Or maybe we have to wait till next fall. Who knows? But... All we can do right now is stay patient and um, expect more GTA Online updates with the new Halloween update coming in late October. In a recent news interview with Rockstar Games, right after the Los Santos Tuners update, Rockstar was asked, The community challenge you did with the heist was really interesting and engaging. Would you consider doing more of this in the future? Not tied with heist, maybe like a steal 100,000 cars within a day or something like that. That's what they mean. And Rockstar Games responded, absolutely, we love seeing the community come together to heist over $1 trillion during the heist challenge. It's more than 10 times the original target. We've got a few things planned this year, 2021, which we think will be really fun for the community to take part in, as well as some new activities for Halloween and some exciting new updates. Beyond that, if you guys want to read the last little paragraph of uh, Rockstar's response, you can go ahead and read that yourself, pause the video, or go back and check it out for yourself. So yeah, Halloween, particularly this year, will be more exciting. We'll add probably the most Halloween content they had in recent years with the Expanded Enhanced Edition. They want to get that last little bit of hype if they meet that November 11th mark of this Expanded Enhanced release date. GTA Online, by any means, is not going away they they break their own records year after year after year with all their new updates los santos tuners had the most people in gta online uh, is ever like in 2021 almost eight years later they've had more players in the los santos tuner update than ever before so i think some of those random activities or just activities in general in that interview rockstar answered with i think they just mean jobs adversary modes like kind of like a new slasher sort of game mode they always bring some new twist or variable into that usually every halloween or maybe some new cars they always re-release the cars i believe 
um, or clothes, masks, all that sort of crap. They always, always do it just as well as a Christmas and the 4th of July update. So that is always what we expect from the Halloween update. And maybe the last more free roam events, there was actually something leaked on Twitter by Monkey Games, I believe, that we're actually going to check out real quick and do a little bit of speculation on. I will also leave these thread of tweets down below in the description if you want to check it out. Monkey Police, he is a data miner all the time. People will dig around within the code. There are plenty of modders that have done this in the community for years, and Monkey Police just happens to be one of them. So shout out to Monkey Police. Like I said, I'll leave this Twitter thread down below in the description. An upcoming Phantom Car random event is part of the Halloween event 2021. It's coming to GTA Online. It is from an actual movie, fiery fury scene from the movie Christine. And this is what the car will look like. Pretty cool. Uh, the fire is will be added on. I think it will be pretty cool. Um, it appears it will take place at Blaine County Savings Bank. Custom vehicle. Rob responds to the bank. Pet is run over and set on fire. Uh, it involves the car with Benny's wheels. Yellow and black. License plate EAB211. Not really sure what that means. It's also explosion. And fireproof to an extent with unbreakable parts and strong axles. That's That's... It's really good to know. The vehicle has custom flame sounds and effects as well as custom to tune horn. So maybe we'll be able to purchase this vehicle or some sort of vehicle like it in as well as a slash music from 2015 Halloween update plays, which uh, I guess is pretty cool. Maybe that free roam event will be worth playing. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'm not a huge free roam event guy. Those events are very overlooked, kind of annoying. And I don't know, there's way better ways to be using your time and making money. So. But maybe I'll give that a shot. And I would love to see maybe a motorcycle, like a Ghost Rider kind of bike where it's on fire or some sort of fire outfit. I think that'd be really cool. And they're doing it right there with that vehicle. So it's definitely something Rockstar might want to add into the game. Whether it be an outfit or a car, I would love to be able to purchase something like that for my garage. Or, I don't know, maybe something different. It'd just have some sort of cool effect on a car, whether it's grass or water or fire, I don't know. Something cool like a Pokemon deck in your garage. I think that'd be kind of cool. I apologize, I digress, but that is some of the new things that we should be expecting in GTA Online as of 2021. And the Expand Enhanced Edition, 4K 60 frames, and the increased speeds and vehicles. It's pretty cool information, but I would love to see a trailer or something, Rockstar, please. We, we want to know more about this thing that you're dropping in two, sorry, what? Two months? No, three months. Okay, I can't count. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said at the beginning of the video, go check out that second channel, the Variety Content Channel. It's called Jayco Games. So if you want to check that out, drop a sub on it if you are interested. Of course, don't subscribe if you're not interested. Um, I don't mind if you stick around here. So uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.